Hi, welcome to another edition of uh, Lear the Draw. Uh, I've had a little mini disaster over the weekend. I'm going to cry. <laughs> not, I'm not, I'm not really. Um, but we're on our new automated trading strategy. You can see there we're minus twenty nine pounds, so we've lost twenty nine pounds. Um, I had a bit of a disaster with the exit strategies. I think I rushed, rushed the. Rushed it in too quick to get in for Saturday. In hindsight, I should have waited until next Saturday, but obviously um, it's only a seven day trial. And if I do use this software, which I am still thinking about, uh, I'm pretty sure I will be. Um, it's £30 a month, but then if you pay for the year, it's only um, £10 a month, uh, which I'd much rather do, but obviously then I'm committing myself to the year. I just wanted to make sure I was right first. I think in that respect, seven days is a bit stingy. They should at least give you 14, if not 30, would be um, my preference. I don't see the reasoning behind not giving you 14, because it can, it does take a little while to get your head around the strategy. I mean, the manual you get is really comprehensive, but it's four to 600 pages in size. And I mean, you're not going to do that in seven days. I've struggled. Um, I'm happy I've got my entrance entry strategy fine i'm doing the 1.01 .01 to 1.99 for either the home team or the away team at the minute and i'm also i've added in a draw uh, between three and six and that gets rid of like you know when you've got really really big favorites with high draws like celtic were the other week and i, I think i mentioned on a previous video they were like i can't remember if it was 11 or 18 or 18 odds to like against the draw even so you the liability was like 20, 20 odd quid. Um, I've got rid of those by just laying draws at three to six. Obviously, that might, that well, that, what actually that means is that the favourites aren't as odds on favourite as like Celtic playing at home and like whoever they were playing, Ray Throwbacks or whoever, Ross County, I think it was. Um, but it does mean that um, we're not exposing ourselves to a massive liability should there be a, a shock result, i.e. a draw or a win for the underdog. Um, now, the, with regard to the exit strategies over the weekend, I tried a couple of different things and I was out on Saturday again, so um, I was just looking at things on my mobile phone and it wasn't going well at all, so uh, there was nothing I could do from my mobile while I was out because this software only runs on Windows. Um, and it, it's not a disaster, I mean, um, but I was about £50 pounds down at one point. Um, but last night at 5 o'clock, I still hadn't bottomed out what was going wrong. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the exit strategies again. So, But in the meantime, what I've done, at, and you can see here on the screen, what I've done at 5 o'clock last night, Sunday night, uh, was just change it to strategy 2 where I haven't got an exit, because um, that's what was scuppering all the bets. All the trades. So you can see this is more like the strategy two number as we were getting when we've done it manually on the spreadsheet. You know, we'd have our two pound state wins and we'd have our losses as the liability loss. Because um, I've got no exit, the exits just weren't working for some reason. I'm going to look at that now. I've got like three days. I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to sort it out before I um, make a final decision on using the software. Um, but here I've got um, anywhere there's a draw, so you've got two, two, one, one. 1-1, one, 0-0. One, uh, nil, nil. It's quite disappointing how many draws there are considering these teams are meant to be odds on favourites. I know you get shocks in football, but I don't know, maybe we should take it down from 1.99, but if we're taking any lower, then um, the draw is going to be higher, as uh, the way I see it, but maybe we'll, we'll alleviate the draw. But what I'm going to do anyway is do this in trial mode. Um, the only other disappointing thing with software is um, you need to run it once, it's real mode for the whole thing or nothing, uh, simulation mode. You can't like say I want one strategy working in real mode and one in simulation, you have to, um, so what you have to do to be able to test things is use another laptop and another instance of the software which you're allowed to do under the license agreement but it just means you need to tie up two machines, one will just run constantly in real mode, this one. And another will run in. Um, so if I look at the strategies here, another will run in simulation mode. If I look in the strategies here, you can see I've only got one running, which is this FLTD018. I'm working on a second one now because I'm going to um, I'm going to um, run this strategy. I'm going to change this one here, number two, to be. Um, 
just look at the home teams who are favoured because I think there'll be less shocks. Because when you've got an away team who's favoured, they can't always, you know, they don't always perform away from home. I mean, some favourites don't perform at home, but you'd expect the home team to win more times when they're favourite than the away team to win when they're favourites, even at the same, you know, odds between 1.01 and 1.99. What I'll do is I'll set this laptop up here because it's a higher spec laptop. Um, as the uh, simulation mode and I can run these two together and see which one's making the most money um, throughout the days, throughout a period of time and then you run another copy of the software on a different laptop um, you can't apparently run the software twice on the same laptop or same machine, sorry, same PC, it doesn't have to be a laptop it needs to be a Windows PC by the way which I'm not a great fan of Windows but I've had the Fire 2 but I've got a little older laptop which I'm going to run in real mode and you can export your, um, you can export and import your strategies so I'm just going to export them from here and import them into the, um, the real mode system to run them in live so I'll get this one over under the other laptop and then I'll, I'll be able to switch them both on in test mode on this I'll change this to test mode and we'll work it like that once I'm happy that one option is doing better than the other I'll probably switch to that one on live mode as well and then I'll be able to get into the sports as well at some point um, but going back to the events um, you can see here the ones we've lost which have been the draws because we've got no exit strategy at the moment until that sorts something out um, before the, you can see the game's coming up, I've showed you that one, which is going to be yeah, the next one we'll probably put a trade on, as long as the odds don't swing any. And then maybe that one, anything that's over, obviously 1.99 for the favourite won't get put on. Um, but if I move back over and show you some of the problems I had, I did start off with the trade being like, um, I'd done value, so if the draw, lay the draw, come down to one point six I think it was or one point five um I was exiting then so that's like typically if it was a draw later on and the, the lay in the draw price had lowered all the way down to like one point five I was just getting out and cutting losses rather than lose the whole liability. Um and alternatively to that I was getting out where I made about twenty five percent profit minimum. Now that could creep up during the game if it was like one nil and the idea being if um the underdog scored it wouldn't cash out but then if they'd stayed in the lead um, it would later on once the profit became 25 percent i thought that would have worked but and like if a goal went into the um, favorite as well that should have taken it over 25 percent profit more or less straight away especially if it was a second half goal um but i don't know if i had the settings right because it didn't seem to be working properly um, when I was winning, I was winning like pennies, and when I was losing, I was like losing, to, you know, pounds. Not like loads, like between one and two pounds, because I was always losing less than the stake. But the wins weren't um, swinging it enough, so I need to look into that in more detail. And what I done after that, I changed it to um, goal scored, because there's a section to say when a goal goes in. So I was changing that to one nil and two nil, and nil one and nil two, and that still wasn't working properly. There were some games that just weren't exiting. So if I get rid of all the strategy two ones at the bottom there, I'm just moving up the list here. Um, so you can see that minus 54 pence was before I changed it. So you can see here yeah, they're all like, I'm getting all these losing trades. Well, you know, you know the games were like, admittedly that was a draw 3-3, three, three, but it should have got out before losing 65 pence, unless the underdog scored first. To be fair, I haven't gone back and looked at all these games. I need to understand when the goals went in. Um, but I'm making all these losing trades as a result, which is the opposite of what um, was happening in that game there, was 5-3. So I'm either ex I'm exiting far too early and making a loss of like 50 pence at this point. I can't even remember what strategy was on yet. And that one now, I won £2, which is the whole stake, but it was 2-0. Again, I don't. The only way you win two pounds if you don't exit, because even if you exit in like injury time, normally it's like 180 something, 190. Even if there's still a kick left, because unless it's more than two goals ahead. But when that got a two nil, that should have triggered the strategy to get out at the latest, even if I was based on profit or goals. So I don't know how two quid out that, so it didn't exit properly. 
Um, but you can see all these losses and they're like pounds, pound forty, pound ninety two, pound ninety, and then I mean positives are all like a lot lower and the even the losing games you see all the red there compared to green. It's like that's not what I've seen in the past. We weren't losing that many games, so that's why I decided to turn the um, strategies off. I mean that was that was still Sunday afternoon because I hadn't I had stuff to do on Sunday, so even though I'd been out Saturday, I didn't have time to have a look at this until like last night, which is when I took the exit strategies off, because looking at this, it just wasn't working, and I haven't had time to go into these games yet, but I will go into some of them and see why. I mean, three games run there, I lost over two quid. Admittedly, it's amazing how many late 1-1 one, one draws there are here as well, which doesn't correspond to what um, I was doing when I was testing. I mean, these are teams who are favourite to win the game, one of them are firm on favourite, so I three 1-1 one, one draws in a row there, 1-0 and two more 1-1s one, and another 1-1 one, one there, it's just ridiculous, and another one there, it seems ridiculous the amount of 1-1s, one, one. so I'm pretty sure the entry criteria is right, so I don't know if that was just a set of fluke results there, all those 1-1s, one, but there shouldn't be that many when you've got the odds on favourite, um, but you can see there's a bit more green up here, um, and there's some like really spurious ones as well and, and like I say I can't remember which, what strategies I was running what here because I just changed them quickly at one point there's a 5 nil there and I won a full £2 and I had no, nothing to say um, stop in for the whole game at this point I should have either depending on the strategy that should have come out either at one nil or um, when I'd made 25% profit and, and every stake's been too quid so I don't understand that one either. I'd have to have a look to see when the first goal went in and, and what. Again, this one here, 4-2, and I lost 17p. Um, I can only assume like the underdog scored early doors and it just jumped out for a loss. So again, I think uh, the premise of... Uh, I'm just running at the minute with... Um, no exit strategy. Um, I have read a couple of articles. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, and it's saying if you're like exit, no exit strategy is fine if you're like if you're on the aggressive trading side. So that's what I'm going to run with until I understand these exit strategies and get something better. But you can see up here, all my losses were like three quid, two quid, uh, one quid. Whereas all my gains are like 63, 68, 82, and pound. That's about my best one there. Apart from the one that, that one didn't come out again either, it doesn't seem to have any weather, so I don't know if that was. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, mixed bag. I'm happy enough with it entering and putting trades on the right games, but I'm not happy with the exit strategy. But again, like I say, I think that's probably more to do with me than the software, so I'm going to spend the next couple of days uh, figuring that out. Um, and I might even just, you know, run with the no exit strategy because if we go down here it's gone too far there if we go down here since five o'clock last night i mean, i've got 23 winning trades so that's 46 quid minus these four losses uh, which i think is still only about 31 so i think I'm on those trades there since five o'clock last night this one here um, i'm up about 15 pounds so i'd be more than happy with that continue it's just I need to monitor how many more of these will be is that representative four out of about 27 is it um, if that's representative and that continues I might just leave that strategy as it is I am going to test strategy I'm going to call it strategy to get everybody confused yeah but I'm going to test this I'm going to modify this one this strategy here and test it where it's only the home team between 1.01 and 1.99 and I'll probably take off the um, I'll take off the draw restriction between 3 and 6 I'll just let that ride and um, I'll just leave that open ended so we will get on higher liability ones but because I'm only because I'll only be putting trades in where the absolute odds on favourite is playing at home I'd expect less um, upsets because obviously if you've got massive underdog playing away and they've got way less chance of causing an upset by a draw or a win if, than if they were actually playing at home against a, a favourite. 
so that's it for now this is a quick one like I say I'm going to get working on I've got to spend time working on these strategies because and set up the second laptop because I want a test strategy I'll probably be able to show you the test on live going forward different videos or maybe it's the same video um, but I'll be able to see which ones are performing best once I get the strategies bottomed out so that's what I'm doing now while I've still got two or three days left of this license okay thanks for watching I'll be back for the next episode soon mm -hmm.